not just begging God to do something and waiting to see whether or not he chooses to do it. Okay, prayer is partnership with God. In Acts chapter 9, the famous story of Saul on the road to Damascus, okay? This man is a murderous Pharisee, okay? He's literally killing Christians, okay? So this is, this is real stuff. This is present day persecution, okay? Jesus thwarts him on the road, introduces himself to him, but remember, he also blinds him. Saul goes into Damascus, he's lost his sight. Here's where the story gets delicious. <laughs> he, the next account is Jesus talking to one of his friends in Damascus. It says there's this guy named Ananias. And the Lord said to him, I want you to go pray for, pray for Saul, who's going to become the apostle Paul, that he get his sight back. I love what happens. Ananias goes, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, well, hang on a second. Okay, they, you understand he's here to arrest us and probably martyr us. Okay, Jesus, no, it's all right. I, it's going to be okay. I want you to go pray for him. Now, again, like we were talking about with Elijah on the mountain, Jesus could just give Saul back his sight. Why does he choose to use Ananias' prayers? Because prayer is not just asking God. Prayer is partnership with God. We get to be his allies, his ambassadors, his co-workers here on the earth. And just letting that begin to shift our understanding. It's not just, oh, please, and then wait, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. It's, what are you doing? How should I pray? What, what does this situation need? And then together, you're, you're working with God and praying into a situation, you're going to see things happen.